So we are marking the one year anniversary of the Abraham Accords, a historic move in the Middle East to bring together Jews and Muslims over shared interests, particularly with regard to economics, the normalization of relations between Israel and many of the Gulf Arab states. Joining us on the line to discuss is Dr. Majid Al-Sara. He is from the UAE, and he is also one of the leaders of Sharaka, which is the Gulf Israel Center for Social Entrepreneurship. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Ben. It's such a pleasure. So let's talk about how the Abraham Accords actually changed things, because I think that for, for folks in the United States who don't tend to pay attention to politics in the Middle East until there's basically a war, this was a really groundbreaking and, and ground shifting series of events. So uh, I got to say it's a new era in the Middle East, uh, you know, for the past 70 years or even more, you know, it, there was a narrative that, OK, Jews, Arabs cannot be together. Uh, uh, the main enemies of the Arabs are Jews and vice versa. So now we do have these Abraham Accords and it's a blessing. And now we can definitely see lots and lots of changes. I mean, we, you can see Israeli aircrafts flying over the Saudi uh, sovereign lands uh, using the airspace of Saudi Arabia. Uh, you have uh, like a quarter million of Israelis who visited Dubai and the UAE generally. And uh, I was one of the first maybe people who visited Israel for the first time ever last December. So I, th I think it's really something changing. You never uh, saw someone with Kandura, with the national dress like me now, go into Israel, uh, lightening the, the, the Hanukkah candle last December and standing with the chief rabbi of Jerusalem. I think that was really uh, changing. Uh, we have seen lots and lots of agreements, probably 80 plus uh, uh, agreements and memorandums uh, between different entities from both countries only within one year. So we can imagine what's going to happen in the future. And I think now we see united forces against so many, uh, I would say, common threats uh, to the region, uh, uh, to UAE, to Israel. Uh, we definitely share same threats, same enemies, and we have to work together. Well, we've been speaking with Dr. Majid Al-Sara from Sharaka. UAE, obviously, what's been happening in the Middle East is historic. It will continue to unfold in historic fashion. And uh, frankly, I look forward to visiting UAE myself. I think that it's going to be uh, amazing. Uh, my family and I are making plans at some point in the next couple of years to, to make the trip to UAE and experience all this because we keep hearing from folks who are traveling there how incredible it is. Apparently, pretty much all the hotels in UAE now have kosher food, which is unbelievable. It, it's yes. an amazing, amazing, transformative thing. So uh, w w when you visit the UAE, uh, you're going to be my guest and uh, uh, you're going to love it. I can assure you that. A and now you can see, for example, there was a restaurant that uh, opened last week. Uh, lots and lots of kosher options. Lots and lots of uh, Jews would be sitting in different restaurants now. And uh, this is, I, I think it's really very beautiful. Nobody could have imagined this, you know, a couple of years ago or maybe a year and a half. So uh, this is really beautiful. This is what we are after. Well, again, Dr. Majid Al-Sara, thanks so much for your time and thanks for what you're doing. Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon.